Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we have been designing this home page using Figma. And this is our progress as of now. We have designed the desktop version. Now in this video, we will design the tablet version. So let's get started. Now the first thing we will do is create a frame. So let's click on frame and uh, let's click over here. And let's select one of these presets. So let's go to frame and uh, we will select this one right here iPad Pro 11 and this is our frame let's go ahead and change the name of the frame to tablet right now let's increase the height now the tablet version is almost similar to this desktop version so I just move this over here to the right and uh, let's copy and paste these sections over here in the middle and then we will edit that and uh, add it over here so first of all let's copy this header section from here so I'll just press option or you can just press alt on windows and just drag it over here so here we have the header now let's bring this over here into the tablet version now before that we have to decrease the width of this header so first of all let's click on tablet and here we can see the width is 834 pixels so I will just decrease the width over here I'll just select the background rectangle and uh, let's decrease the width let's set it to 834 pixels I'll just change this to 834 and now we need to bring this to the left so let's drag it over here to the left and uh, we can also decrease the width of this a little bit so let's decrease the width a little bit and now let's fix the menu bar so let's bring this over here to the left and uh, we will have a gap of uh, let's try 40 pixels and even from the right we need to have a gap of 40 pixels so first of all let's copy these menu items and let's bring it over here to the left and now let's decrease the width of this rectangle and from the right we will have a gap of 40 pixels and here for the menu bar we have a padding of 32 pixels so let's add the same padding over here so let's move it over here to the right Right, that's it with the menu bar. Now let's increase the height of this header a little bit. So let's drag this over here. And I think that looks all right. And uh, here we have a lot of width for this text. Let's decrease the width a little bit. And let's bring this uh, element to the bottom. And from the right, we will have a spacing of 70 pixels. And now let's add this into our tablet frame. So let's drag this and bring it over here. So that's it with the header of our tablet version. All right now let's bring this topic section. So let's press option and drag it over here. And we need to decrease the width of this to 834 pixels. So let's decrease the width of this rectangle and let's set it to 834. And now we need to bring all of this to the left. So we will have a spacing of 70 pixels from the left. So let's bring it over here and uh, from the top we will have a gap of 80 pixels. And let's also select all these topics. And let's bring it to the left. And from the left we will have a gap of let's try 90 pixels. And let's bring this image to the left. And we'll also decrease the width of this image. And from the right, we will have a gap of 70 pixels. And I think that looks all right. And let's also bring this element to the left. And let's position it correctly. Right now, from the bottom of this, we will have a gap of 80 pixels. So let's press option and uh, we have 78 pixels. So let's scale it up a little bit. Let's press command and press the down arrow twice. And now we have a gap of 80 pixels. Right now let's bring this into our tablet frame and I think we have a lot of width for this heading so let's decrease the width a little bit and from the right we will have a gap of 70 pixels. Alright let's drag this into our tablet frame and let's bring it up. Alright that's it with the topics section. Now let's work with this uh, info section. So let's press option and drag it over here. And let's decrease the width of the rectangle to 834 pixels. And we'll also decrease the font size of these headings. 
so let's select this and let's set the font size to 32 pixels and let's select this and let's set the font size to 24 pixels and let's do the same for this element so let's select it and let's set the font size to 32 and let's select this and let's set the font size to 24 and let's align this correctly and for this we will have a gap of let's try 140 pixels from the left 140 pixels from the right and even from the left we will have a gap of 140 pixels let's bring this up a little bit and from the bottom we will have a gap of 80 pixels All right now let's drag this and add it into our frame and uh, let's bring it up All right that's it with the info section now let's go ahead and duplicate this block section so let's press option and drag it over here and for the block section we will have two blocks at the top and uh, one block post at the bottom so let's increase the height of this rectangle and uh, let's bring this down and we'll also set the width of this to 834 pixels and we will set a padding of 70 pixels from the left and let's also decrease the width of this heading and uh, from the right we will have a gap of 70 pixels and let's bring this over here to the left and let's bring this to the left as well and we need to have a gap of 70 pixels from the right and we can increase the width of these a little bit so right now it is set to 314 pixels let's increase it to 324 pixels and even for this let's increase it to 324 pixels and that looks alright now for the third post we will have a width of 100% so let's drag it over here and here we will have a width of 100% and we'll bring it up a little bit right now we'll place this button over here on the right right now let's decrease the width of this rectangle and we will have a gap of 80 pixels from the bottom right now let's bring this over here to the right so let's drag it and bring it inside our frame right now the next section we need to add is this testimonial section so let's duplicate it and uh, we need to bring all these elements one below the other so let's select the rectangle and let's increase the height and let's bring all of these one below the other and we'll also set the width of this to 834 pixels and let's have a padding of 70 pixels from the left and uh, let's also decrease the width of this heading right now let's select the first testimonial and we will have a gap of 90 pixels from the left and let's bring these two elements to the right and uh, I think that looks alright let's do the same for this testimonial and we will leave a gap of 50 pixels and let's bring this name and this testimonial to the right and we'll also increase uh, the width of this text a little bit and from the right also we will have a gap of 90 pixels and now let's do the same for this testimonial and uh, let's bring the name and uh, this text over here to the right and that's basically the, the testimonial section so let's decrease the height of this rectangle and from the bottom we will have a gap of 80 pixels right now let's bring this over here to the right and I think we don't have the correct padding at the top so let's check it we have a padding of 48 so we need to bring this rectangle to the top and let's increase the height right now we have the correct padding so let's bring this over here inside this frame and now the last thing we need to add is this footer so let's duplicate it and uh, let's bring this over here to the left and let's decrease the width of this rectangle and let's set it to 834 and from the left and the right we will have a padding of 70 pixels 
and even from the right we will have a padding of 70 pixels right now let's select these three groups and uh, let's go over here to this button and uh, let's click on tidy up and we can see everything is tidied up right now let's drag this footer inside our tablet frame and that's it with the footer and with that we have completed the design of the tablet version so let's decrease the height of this frame so I just press command and click over here and let's decrease the height and let's also bring this over here to the left all right that's it for this video in the next video we will design the smartphone version so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day